So another rainy day in the bog. Uh, there's a lot of people out there struggling in the bog biome and moving to the other biomes thinking that it's a lot easier now. Honestly it probably is a lot easier in some of the other biomes but you don't know that until you play through a bit and know how to get the resources from different areas. Now the bog has a few mechanics and things going on that are tough to deal with I guess. Um, the swarms is basically what I'm talking about. Um, everything else is pretty easy. Like I set, set up our, this is a PVE base, set it up at the uh, on one of these plateaus at uh, I suppose I could show you GPS. Top left corner of the map of the bot biome. So here we just set up on a plateau with uh, where we could have a bit of metal, a bit of crystal yeah, under the tree, and enough room to yeah, put out some dinos. And so we had to put up a bit of a wall. This is temporary till we work out what how we're going to make it look nice. Uh, so with no mods on this server, uh, just some adjusted gather rates and stuff. Now, yeah, so we get up on the plateau, we've um, blocked off the entryway. We had a stone gate there before with the, the pressure plates. It worked okay, but the, not all the dinos would set off the pressure plate, and so it was a bit frustrating, even though it was a good idea by the pressure plates, it just didn't quite work for us. Anyway, so tech gates do the job. Um, yeah, so we've got a little hatchery out here with some air conditioners. Um, breeding... Breeding pears, I guess, in that fridge. Just to keep separate from everything else. Bit of, um, yeah, all the different size eggs. Got uh, moss chops, dodos. Uh, over it, sometimes drops an egg, and then uh, dimorphodons, another different size again. Uh, Terrazinos. Now, this is one of the. They have another size egg that we uh, need for kibbles, but they're really good at wandering around the swamp. They have this mechanic where nothing <laughs> nothing seems to aggro you. There's probably a few things that do. But you can wander the swamp. The bugs won't attack you. Capricious won't jump on you. you know, the crocodiles will leave you alone. Uh, go right down to the bottom right hand quadrant of this bog and there's spiders they just hide up in the trees and grab you off but there is you know it's not it doesn't get aggro by so they you can just wander around and just have a good old explorer of all the swamp as long as you don't get off in <laughs> you know then you become attackable so yeah you're able to go and do a, explore a lot more of the bog with um, relative safety uh, this is my wife's first little attempt at a house, just of her own little, I suppose it's a kidney shaped house. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really cool. I like it. Here she is asleep. Otta keeping it company. Um, yeah, so all this stuff has gotten from this map. Uh, but we brought characters for the continued story, though we didn't bring any items, we just started from scratch with items and pets. Uh, anyway, so getting back to the mechanics of these swarms to... Now, in the early stages of people putting out videos about the turtle, how to tame the turtle, uh, it was... people were just doing it wrong, so I commented on a few videos around the place and it was uh, it was taken on board quite nicely other people understood that okay maybe we'd, I was doing it wrong and they made new videos and so they fixed it up but 
The reason why I'm linking, segueing that sort of info is because there's a similar mechanic to that turtle taming with that, uh, what do you call it, the parakeet fish, school fish that attach to the turtle. Now they, these swarms do the same thing to the roll rat. They just sit there, not attacking, not bothering anything. So I've got one out this side of my base. It just, I mean, obviously they don't get killed and no one attacks it and you can't aggro onto it, unfortunately, but they're basically nullified at that end of the base. And I've got another one up this end of the base and anything that comes up over this half of the map, uh, base is attracted by that one. So it basically completely stops the problem of those swarms. And you can even most of the time come up and stab them. I didn't even get attacked, you know, just killed them off. If you if you get really close. It seems to be near the mouth that the hitbox of the basic swarm is. Swarm it's basically one of those flies buzzing around uh, that is the actual one and all the others are just graphical just to show it swarm. So anyway, it hang, seems to hang around always near this section of the mouth. Um, yeah, and basically makes living in the swamp a breeze. So between getting maybe a thorough scene at first, so you can at least explore them up, and then after that, venturing to the lunar biomes in the caves, you find the roll rats. Uh, yeah, and then once you have one, of it's just, just low level. <laughs> you could just throw a bit of honey in there. Um, unfortunately, honey is its own problem. It'd be nice if it was purchasable in the shop but it just isn't. So it requires getting the highs unfortunately to tame the uh, roll rat. Uh, that's a whole nother problem because the beehives are so high up in the trees right where all the bog spiders live. These uh, blood stalkers sorry. Um, so that's that's pretty dangerous getting those. I could probably do a video on how I did it, but I think everyone knows how to tame a bee by now. Uh, you can you can get flowers. I think from here. Yeah, yeah. So ghillie suit, obviously. Um, and yeah, some bug repellent. It's pretty easy to make. Um, just a bit of fur. So I think if you stay in one biome, you're making a mistake. You need to go to the different biomes to get what they offer to survive everywhere. So yeah, going to the the frost biome to grab that guy. Each each biome has something unique and good to offer. Um, the lunar biome has obviously all those cool tech dinos, but has that roll rat which nullifies the uh, swarms. Bog the bog has uh, yeah, the blood stalker, and the uh, lava place has the. Uh, magma so that's one thing also I could quickly comment on it's not to do with living in the bog but so the ankylo I think this is three times harvest so 825 metal and that was a gold full gold no so uh, most amount of metal there but if we just make this real quick this guy since they, they made a 
patch and make him cost and gets to basically shoot his fireball now. Um, but look at that metal, that is insane. That's twice that anchor, and that anchor was two 150s bread, so <laughs> it's a maxed, you know, pretty much very good angle. One, two 150s that were uh, bred and imprinted and everything, 100% imprinting. And this is double, and this is just an egg picked up off the ground. The dirty rocks only give half. The... Okay, so now, so that's just an insane amount of metal to get from one rock. Anyway. That's just thought I'd add that to the, uh, I guess, tips and tricks. Uh, yeah, everyone's got a mining drill by now, I imagine, and you just use it for the weight. <laughs> you don't use it at all, you just use it to carry metal. Um, yeah, so I'm so we've also increased the stack sizes but the weight is the same we haven't touched the weight so it's just stupid to have seven thousand different stacks of meat I know it's an exaggeration but yeah so the weight's the same anyway um, so you can carry this much metal with the, with the drill um yeah that's it I guess